Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. What I have for you today is parental advisory and to you as individual on language matters. I am using this medium to let you know that your mother tongue is very, very important than any other language in this world. As a matter of fact, among many other challenges encountered by the Lagos State Labour Party governorship candidate at the recently concluded 2023 governorship elections was that he couldn't fluently speak in his father's ethnic tongue, Yoruba. And thereby, he couldn't convince the Lagos Yoruba politicians and electorates that he is truly a Yoruba man, and thus gave them room for strong propaganda against him. Parents, can you now see the main reason why your children should be able to fluently speak your ethnic language? Proficiency on many languages is of great advantage for anybody after all. Who knows tomorrow? I keenly observed the new trend among parents these days are that they encourage their children to be fluent in English at the expense of their mother tongue. To buttress my points, research shows the following most world notable hyperglots on records. Sir John Boring, the governor of Hong Kong from 1854 to 1859, was said to learn up to 200 languages and capable of fluency in spoken 100. Oanes Ikonomo, a Greek translator for the European Commission, spoke 32 languages. Cardinal Gusip Mesofantis is one of the world's most popular hyperglots, hyperpolyglots. He was born in Bologna, Italy on September 19, 1774, spoke 40 languages, although some people claim he was able to speak nearly a hundred different languages. Toshihiko Izutsu, 1914 to 1993, a Japanese scholar, understood more than 30 languages, including Arabic, Hebrew, Turkish, Persian, Sanskrit, Pali, Hindustani, Russia, Greek, and Chinese. Lokeshandra, an Indian Buddhism scholar, spoke 16 languages. Richard Sincourt is fluent in 16 languages. He lives in Chester, United Kingdom. He learned a new language within a few weeks. Fernando de Castro spoke 16 languages. He was an interpreter, translator, and philologist. Alexandra Agus, an American linguist, spoke 12 languages. John Sui, a historian from South Korea, spoke 12 languages. Dilip Kumar, an Indian actor, spoke 12 languages. Israeli born Gilead Zukama is a hyperpolyglot linguist, hyperpolyglot linguist, and revivalist. He currently resides in Australia. He is a linguistics professor and chairman of endangered language at the University of Adelaide. Aziz Ahmad, 1914 to 1978, Pakistani novelist. He spoke Urdu, Persian, English, German, French, Italian, Arabic, and Turkish fluently. An average person can speak two to four languages in a lifetime. However, 
human brains work differently, and an average human brain can fluently handle a maximum of four languages. The brain of Emil Streb was tested in 2004. Krebs studied and spoke 65 languages. Scientists wanted to know if the unique formation of his brain could be related to his skills with languages. The broker's area is the part of the brain that is responsible for language skill, skill acquisitions. And indeed, there were some unique features in the broker's area of Krebs' brain. However, the scientists were unable to know if they were inborn or acquired. In 2012, researchers at Sweden's Lund University made a study by pitching a group of students taking other courses against language students. They all went through an intensive course in a foreign language. The brains of those participants were scanned after they completed the course. The researchers found that the broker's area of the language students expanded significantly, whereas those belonging to students learning other subjects remain same. Do you know that the bigger the brain, the better acquisition potential capability it has. Though age is too late, age, no, no age is too late to learn whatsoever besides physical activity. What matters most is your interest, motivation, dedication, memory, and having good method to remember what you have learned. But the earlier, the better. I am presently at mid-60s, but now learning Greek and Hebrew. I can go on and on, but lastly, at this juncture, I once again appeal to you as, a Bible, as in Bible verse, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 says, Train children in the way they should go. When they grow old, they won't depart from it. Educate yourself and it will be better for you. Thank you for watching my video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more people to learn. Shalom, shalom. Thank you for watching.